Hi. Hello. My name is Roger. I'm working for the company Cyclomedia. We are from the uh, Netherlands. We are driving in uh, the Nordex for the company of Blam. The car that you see over here, it's a car um, that uh, do a lot of things automatically. Uh, the car makes uh, every five meter or two and a half meter, whatever they want, uh, a 360 degree picture. And that's um, how we uh, captured uh, completely uh, uh, municipalities. And that's what we, uh, we are doing. Can you show me a little bit what kind of technology is uh, in the car? On top of the uh, car, you see the most important thing. It's the 360 degree camera. We develop it uh, by ourselves. You see on the front side and on the back side a camera. The front camera makes a picture on exactly the same place. The second camera behind makes also a, a picture. We create them together, we stitch them. And so we made this 360 degree pictures. Uh, we have a very uh, good acquirement, so you can do a lot of things in our 360 degree picture. It's not only a picture, because you can do measurements and that sort of stuff. And what kind of facilities do you have in the car? Technology? Technologically, equipment. we have uh, built in the rear X uh, a DMI. It's uh, something that counts exactly the centimeters of uh, the driving. So the car knows by itself, by steering the computer, when he needs to take a picture. So every five meters, the DMI gives a signal to the computer and to the camera. Okay, now it's five meters, now you have to take a camera, uh, a picture. And do the driver have to do more than just drive? Yes. Inside of the uh, car, the driver has a screen and on that screen he sees a lot of things. He can watch the light because it's the same like a normal camera. We are depending about the light. We can only make pictures when we have light enough. He needs to always to check uh, the GPS because we're driving on GPS. Um, he needs to check if he uh, drives every road because we are driving every road, paved or not paved. Then there are some things that he can also use to check the pictures. He can check the pictures, raw pictures, because when you drive in the summer and that sort of stuff, you can check if there's something on the lens. Otherwise, you have a lot of things that you can throw away because there's a fly on the lens. For the rest, mm, oh, it's, quite, it's quite everything that the operator needs to do. Okay. Let's go into the car and check. Okay. Thing on the screen. So we have the map with the shape file of the country where we drive. You can see some other things like GPS and light and that sort of stuff. You can check your pictures. We have a mouse in it, but the most things we can do by touchscreen. Over here we build on uh, the complete uh, power units and inside of here you see some computer and that sort of stuff. It's very easy. We put on electricity. We put on inside of here. You cannot see it but there is a lot of stuff building in. Then we have our computer. Turn on our computer. You hear it starts running. Yeah, you have some buttons that the operator can select. He can do some, some things. He can do start controller, it's when we start and when the engine is running and that sort of stuff. We can also check maps. Now you see some things that the operator normally has on his visual. You see, the green one is GPS, it's the color of the image, you can switch some other things where you're driving. You see now we have bad GPS, that's why it turns red. Normally when it's red, the car doesn't make pictures. I can show you some little map, but I need to check which one I'm going to take. Normally the operator sees like this. The operator needs to fill up every 
dot that's now orange to a green dot. So on the end of the day, every orange dot what you see over here needs to be captured in a green uh, dot. So the operator knows exactly this complete shape file what you see, the blue lines is a shape file is captured every street by pictures. So this is the most important thing that he needs to, to check. Fascinating. Yes, it's quite fascinating. Okay, thank you so much for the demonstration and good luck with the car and your road trips. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye bye.